Hi guys, welcome to this video about a problem which has arised last couple of days with the Panasonic image app. Uh, I've been using that usually to transfer the pictures from the Panasonic FC80 to my app and to Google Photos and so on. Usually it has been working great but recently I've always had a problem with the Wi-Fi so I'm going to show you how you can work around this problem. Hopefully it will work for you too. So how to turn on the Wi-Fi? Of course you have to turn on the camera and then you go to play and then we go here we press the FN1 that's the that activates the Wi-Fi as you can see with the QR code and so I go then to the image app Panasonic image app and I have to scan then the uh, QR code which is a little bit difficult with this camera because it has a little bit problem on short distances but usually it still works um, so I click on QR code and usually it works sometimes I have to lift up the camera a little bit but usually after one or two tries it should work it's a little bit difficult behind the camera but yeah now you can see hopefully what happens and hopefully same thing happens as usual it tries to connect and here on the screen after a certain time it says it's remote controlled and everything looks actually good in the first moment but after then it disconnects that the problem uh, here we can see it says um, yeah okay yeah that's exactly how, how it works yeah everything looks good and after connecting it says connection to camera was lost set the Wi-Fi connection for the camera again and it doesn't help if you scan this thing ten times it will always lose the connection so you have to really go to Wi-Fi setup then look for the FC80 or FC82 or whatever camera you are using just click on that and then you go back you press this button here and we are back on the uh, Panasonic app and then we can yeah, of course it will show that the Wi-Fi does not have access to the internet uh, we don't have to do anything with that and we can now click on yeah whatever we want to do tran transfer image batch transfer and as always be careful if you want to transfer everything don't click on this all first click on this all and then on this all as a second option so I don't have to do it again because I already did it so everything is already transferred and the really important thing is after the transfer has finished uh, of course you can just uh, stop the Wi-Fi and the camera everything here and you can go to whatever app you like Google uh, Photos so that it is uh, like transferring and uploading everything to Google Photos but you have to make sure with the Wi-Fi to get back on the normal Wi-Fi uh, so you don't stay on the uh, yeah on the Wi-Fi of the camera so otherwise you will be out of luck when you want to send uh, the pictures to somebody it will always fail then so yeah that's it for now I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time